Hello, Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you. It's Monday. Monday is tips day. You know what that means. I'm going to give you some tips. Not from me this week. I got two from Stephen and I got one from Sean. So let's get right into it, shall we? Because who knows where it's going to take us. As always, I have not read them. So will they be good? Will they be okay? Or will they be, eh? we'll find out. We'll go Stephen first. Stephen. Ah, almost, oh, listen to this compliment. Hey Mick, always enjoy the content. That's a smart man. And thought I would share a couple of tips. I'm sure these aren't new, but might be to somebody. Every tip I give out, someone's heard them, but somebody hasn't. If you reach one person, there's your goal, right? Number one, we got two. We created a cruise kit. We have a cheap plastic storage bin and store all our favorite cruise accessories like magnet hooks, lanyards, door decor, etc. Whenever we get something new in the bin, it goes in. Oh, in the bin it goes until the next cruise and stores under the bed in between adventures. Absolutely. If you were to look behind me, not only would you see about 30 more suits because I couldn't fit them all up here, but I got different boxes of different things. I got one with beach bags. I got one with hats because, yeah, I got hats. Didn't tell you that, did I? Mmm. I got giraffe, cow, Christmas hat. I got all sorts of hats. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got one up there for uh, like overseas plugs. You know, all sorts of travel stuff. And we do have our lug you know, luggage tags and what have you. And then uh, I got me inflatable ships. Extras, I got about 15 left there up there. I can see them from here. Playing cards, because when we do the ship uh, tour, uh, we do a little card game as well. Where everybody on the pub crawl gets a playing card every bar, five dollars in. At the end of the pub crawl, the best poker hand wins the pot. Boom! Adds a bit of fun to it. Trust me. Uh, yeah, I got loads of things up there. What else? I got? Oh yeah, I got a box in the corner where I've been saving up because I've got a couple of group cruises coming up. I got one on Venezia in October, and I got one, a big one, on the celebration next January. And I have been saving gifts to give away prizes and such. I've got a whole box load of them up there. And they're, they're not too shabby either. Let me tell you. Yeah, you'll find out if you're on the cruise. Not too late to book. I'm just going to say, let me know. Anyway, moving on, Stephen. Yeah, so I like that idea. Uh, every I think a lot of people have a cruise kit of some description. Um, good idea. What's in your cruise kit? Put it in the comments. Number two. This one came by way of our mutual friend Bryce. Print extra luggage tags and put them inside the luggage. Luggage tags can get ripped off, even the heavy duty ones, apparently. With one in the bag, they can at least open it up and see where it needs to go. Never thought about that. Good idea. We have those little plastic ones where you hook them around and fortunately they've never come off. But uh, yeah, I could see it happening. If the, if the bag's a bit older and the handle comes loose, it's gonna fall off the way they throw those things around all over the ship. Open it up, look at that. Good idea. I was going to say something probably inappropriate there. What else you could put inside the bag as a surprise when they open it. But I stopped myself. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> yeah, two good ones. Thank you, Stephen. Keep them coming. But that's a good one. Extra. So I guess not necessarily even a luggage tag. You could just write on a piece of paper the room number, stick it inside on top as a backup. Like it. Like it. All right. Sean, we got one from you again. I get lots from Sean, I like it. Sean's a, a better than Dave's, let's be honest. Sorry, Dave. Oh, no, Dave, you had a good one last week. Credit where credit's due. Just don't give it out very often. All right, Sean, hi Mick. Hope you're enjoying the pride. Yes, I did, I was on it, I'm back now. Boom. While watching today's tips video, I thought of this one. This is good, people. So if you're watching my tips video and you think of something yourself while you're watching it, write it down and email it to me and I will use it. Use the knowledge that Sean has. When planning our excursions slash port activities, we like to look at the port schedule website, uh, http www.cruisemapper.com slash ports to see how busy the port will be on the day we are there. This may influence what we choose to do. For example, if four to five ships are in port with us, we might get off earlier to beat the crowds, or not plan a beach day, or find a less popular beach, or stay on the ship. The Cruise Mapper app is the best I have found for tracking ships in real time, looking at itineraries also. 
can't argue with that, can you? I mean, especially ports like Cozumel and Nassau now. I mean, Nassau has become the biggest, busiest overseas port there is. There was like over 20,000 cruise passages in Nassau the other week on one day. One day. That's ridiculous. I've seen 17,000 or so in Cozumel. It's just like... And the other thing about Cozumel and, and Nassau the same as well, a lot to me would depend on what time my ship is getting in. Because uh, I would add to that, I'm not, and uh, Sean, you can put this in the comments, I'm not sure if it says in there what time the ships are coming in or whether it just says what ships will be in. Um, I could look it up, but it's going to be boring you watching me look it up on my phone. Time, you know, you don't want to do that. And if I read these things in advance, I would have read it and prepped it, but I don't read them in advance. So, um, yeah, like, for example, I found, and I've got a video that's out by now, because uh, I'm doing a lot of recording in, over these next couple of days and scheduling them out. But a, I think it's a really good one on the uh, all inclusives in Cozumel between um, Paradise Beach, Mr. Sancho's, and Nachi Cocom, give my input and suggestions and blah, blah, blah. And one thing I've noticed is, uh, especially with Mr. Sancho's, if you don't get there early, you ain't getting a good spot. So if you are going into uh, Cozumel and you're planning on going to Mr. Sancho's, but your ship doesn't get in until like 11 o'clock in the morning or even noon, maybe think twice. Uh, go in there, go to somewhere else. Uh, like Paradise Beach, for example, has a special where if your ship is arriving late and they've got a list on the website each week of which ships are coming in late and they'll open an extra hour and a half just for you. But you have to buy a separate ticket, but you can stay a bit longer. Miss Sancho doesn't do that. So, you know, pros and cons, pros and cons. Yeah, like it. Good ones. Good, three good ones this week. We had three good ones last week. Well, two good ones and then my rubbish one I filled in. But two good ones last week, three good ones this week. And next week, I have seven tips. Uh, I don't remember the last time, I haven't read them, but I don't remember the last time I got a page with seven tips on it because I do them over two weeks. And I don't know if I've already done them. Could be a dupe. Even worse... I don't know who wrote them because I, I normally write the name of who did the tips on there and I didn't write the name down. So the next two weeks, you're either going to get repeats or they're new. And you're not going to know who did them. It weren't me, though. Wasn't me. The Queen's English wasn't me. Anyway, all right, that's it. I'm done this week. Next week. Next two weeks is the mystery person. <sighs> Subscribe. Send me questions. Send me your tips, and I promise I'll write your name down and read them out and give you the kudos you deserve. Unless your name's Dave, in which case I'll attempt to give you kudos, but probably end up giving you abuse. And send me your cruising traditions. What do you do every time you cruise? The people want to know. If you don't tell, you can't share. People won't know, and that's me. That's selfish. Sharing is caring. We're making people's cruises better. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And with that, after you subscribe, send me questions, send me your tips, and send me your cruising traditions. I will see you later, cruising world. Any questions? Email me anytime. Cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site. EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please, pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>